In previous class, we learned integration formulas. In this class, we will do some basic integration. You see this formula, integral of x power n dx is x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. This formula holds good only when n is not equal to minus 1. You see, integral of x dx, integral of x dx, x can be written as x power 1. So, by using this first formula, what is integral of x dx? x power n plus 1, that is 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2 divided by 2 plus c. So, integral of x dx is x square by 2 plus c. It's very simple. In the power 1 is there, you raise it to one number. For example, you see this second one. Integral of x square dx. What is integral of x square dx from this formula? x square. You raise its power to one number. x power 3 divided by 3 plus c. Similarly, integral of x power 100 dx. Integral of x power 100 dx is x power 101 divided by 101 plus c. It is very easy to understand. We are applying this first formula. Integral of x power 20 dx. x power 20 dx. Yes, please say what we will get. Very good. x power 21 divided by 21 plus c. Now, you see the second box. Integral of 1 by x power n dx. We learned that this formula is minus 1 divided by n minus 1 into x power n minus 1. This formula holds good only when n is not equal to 1. So, you see how to apply this formula. Integral of 1 by x square dx minus 1 divided by n minus 1. n minus 1 means what? 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1 into x power 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1 plus c. This is nothing but minus 1 by x plus c. Integral of 1 by x square dx is minus 1 by x plus c. Similarly, integral of 1 by x power 10 dx. Very simple. In the numerator first what we will write? Minus 1 you write. It comes to the denominator. You reduce one number here. 10 is there now. So what we will write? We will write 9. 9 into x power 9 plus c. We use this type of integration very frequently while doing exercise problems. Integral of 1 by x power 5 dx. Integral of 1 by x power 5 dx. Ah, what we will write? Minus 1 divided by. Here 5 is there now. Reduce one number. 4 into x power 4 plus c. Just simply we are applying this second box formula to all these things. Important. Integral of 1 by x dx. Here you observe that x power 1 is there. When x power 1 n equal to 1, then we use this third box. Integral of 1 by x dx is log mod x plus c. This we learn in integration formulas. Because derivative of log x is 1 by x. That's why integral of 1 by x dx is log mod x plus c. So when you are applying second formula, if in place of n, if you get 1, then we use this formula. So, integral of 1 by x dx, directly we can write. Integral of 1 by x dx is log mod x plus c. Okay. Now, this fourth formula. Integral of k dx. Integral of k dx is kx plus c. Here, k is constant. It's simple to say. What is integral of 2 dx? Apply this formula. Integral of 2 dx is 2x plus c. Similarly, you please tell this. Integral of 4 dx is what? What? Yes, integral of 4 dx is 4x plus c. Integral of k dx is kx plus c. Integral of minus 3 dx. Minus 3 is also constant. Integral of minus 3 dx is minus 3x plus c. That's it. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.